Right. So, yeah. So we've done our first hammer. So second hammer is <laughs> 1917 comes along, smashes the shit out of Russia. Yeah. And that then ripples back into this new party, the USPD. And what happens then? Sure. So now you get the question, not just of the revolution, but also the question of the international. Because the second international dies in 1914, essentially. Kautsky says famously, you know, the, the, the international is an instrument of peacetime, not of war. And that was the, the kind of thing. But there are then in, in 1919, so we're talking early revolutionary days, the USPD is growing, the SPD is in government. There are, obviously, you have the founding of the Communist International. There's then the question of what does an organization like the USPD do and where does it go? Is there going to be a revived second international in which the SPD would be dominant? But SPD dominance would mean the politics of class collaboration isn't quite clearly because of what the SPD is doing. The USPD, you know, even the, the centrist people like Haza, they're looking towards Russia and they talk of the light coming from the east. Right. This is this is a bit earlier. We have to. I'm jumping back and forth slightly, but they're looking at, at Russia as some kind of way of okay, maybe this is the the way forward. Should we orientate ourselves toward? The Communist International. The Second International is dead. It is regrouping, but on what politics? And it's, it becomes clear that, go back to 1919, now the Leipzig Congress of the USPD, there is a strong appetite amongst the membership, which is a big membership we just discussed, for some kind of orientation towards a revolutionary international, towards Comintern. And it's really this question. So while you had the overlaid with it, the various tendencies that we described before in the USPD, even people like Bernstein and Kautsky joined the USPD because they think the struggle for peace is the most important thing. And they're very dismissive of the Spartacists and certainly the ISD. While you've got that going on, all that going on, you've then got a new question in the USPD, which is, OK, a left wing starts to emerge saying we need to align with Moscow. Now, the other complicating factor, which we haven't discussed uh, as yet, is also the, growth, the, the, the foundation of the KPD. Because then you've got the question of the KPD as a separate organization and where does the USPD left go? 